Aquarius, it's Al here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. All right, so let's see um, what the week holds for you. What's going on for Aquarius this week? What's the energy of the week? For Aquarius. Okay, the Two of Pentacles. Alright, so for some of you, you've got a decision. Something is up in the air. You've got two different ways of how you bring in money. You're juggling. You're trying to balance everything out. You could be transferring money. Um, you're just keeping up. You're keeping up the, the good fight here in terms of income, work, and something that you do every single day. Um, also, you're just trying to have them the strongest work ethic, okay? Um, therefore, you can see some stability. You can move this past the two of pentacles. You can move past juggling. Some of you could be doing two things at one time. You're learning something while you're working. You're reading on the bus. You're, you know, um, at work while listening to some self-help or something to do with business or something that will evolve you um some partnership maybe in love is up in the air there's a decision here you just aren't clear about something there's no clarity it says listen to your intuition here in terms of uh, partnerships um relationships with other people uh, romantic platonic business whatever um listen to your intuition here and you do know that a decision needs to be made. So that's what the week is about. How's Aquarius feeling this week? How's Aquarius feeling this week? Two of Swords. Wow. Um, so you're feeling uh, indecisive. Again, like something is up in the air. There could have been a breakdown in a close relationship here. Could be with a Libra. Could be with a Libra, and it doesn't have to be. It could be with anybody. There's a breakdown in a close relationship. There's opportunity for reconciliation, reunion, but you guys have to have a talk. You need to come to some type of uh, cooperative agreement. Like, who is co what, what are we doing? Like, some plan here. You also need to weigh the pros and cons. There is. Um, a need for focus on negotiation so this is about business of course you need to focus on how you negotiate um, if it is love and romance or just a uh, relationship issues think about how you negotiate or compromise and think about how you can come to a compromise in order to come back together um, There's a need for just cooperation here. There's a power struggle too. There's a tug of war. Someone wants to be on top. Okay? Wants to be the boss of. What's the external energy to the Aquarius? External energy to the Aquarius. Look at the angel number 2222. The external energy for Aquarius. The King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Libra male, uh, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio and Pisces highlighted. Um, so the external energy is the King of Cups. So this could be someone that you work with. If it's not someone that you work with, um, this is an energy who you can't read them well. You can't read their emotions well. Um, this this person covers their tracks in terms of emotions. Um, this could be a person who um, hopeless romantic likes to fall in love. They keep a lot of different energies around them because they can maintain those different energies and personalities because they are the king of emotions, king of cups. Um, this person could uh, have a lot of love interests, or they could deal in or work in relationships. Uh, 
where there's a lot of different personalities and they're able to handle that. The external energy is also someone who is not telling you exactly how they feel about you. This is um, the King of Cups. He doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve. He is emotionally balanced. There's a lot of reservation about this person. They could be into art, fashion, beauty. This is the, the external energy to you. What the, the universe wants you to know this week is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. The Wheel of Fortune talks about change, destiny, change, destiny, time, timing, perfect timing, cycle, ending. The wheel is turning. If you've been having a stint of bad luck or bad energy, and the wheel is turning in your favor. It could be turning for the good now. Uh, and if you, things have been going good, I mean, it, it rains on the just also. So prepare for the changes, the seasons in your life. The Wheel of Fortune here says, um, let's see, let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Because it, it just popped out. What's the Wheel of Fortune? The Eight of Pentacles, very nice. So it looks like, um, and whatever you've been putting your, your effort, your time, your energy into, it's going to turn over for you. If you're trying to start a new business, this is like the entrepreneur. This is the start. It's not the actual start, but it's like um, two of pentacles would be the start. The eight of pentacles would be where you're in that wash, rinse, repeat cycle. You're trying to get it to some self sustaining energy you understand that you just have to keep going you have to keep doing you have to keep showing up you have to keep putting the emails out you have to keep making the phone calls or whatever it is you do uh you have to keep um advertising marketing whatever um it says that it's going to turn over for you there's going to be some fortune um in your business or even if your business is at work, you're working for someone else, there will be fortunate change here. All because your focus, your direction is into that. We are in the eighth month also. The eight of pentacles coming out for you. It says for some of you, a lot of you don't even have time for work. You're really focused on money and bringing in more money. You understand that work is rewarded. If you need more money, you need to do more work. They're synonymous. You can't have one without the other. Whatever your work may be. Um, the Eight of Pentacles says that you're invested. You're invested in something and you want to see the turnover. You want to see the turnaround. The Eight of Pentacles says keep your head down and do your work. It really does, it really does say that. Some of you also could be doing some online learning or you are learning something. It could be continuing education. It could be actually going back to school, but it looks like a lot of times with the Eight of Pentacles, it's self-taught or it's, you know, it's not as hands-on. It could be online. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, you're doing something over and over again. You're also thinking about something over and over again. There could be an energy thinking about you over and over again. The eight say over and over. It's cyclical. Wash, rinse, repeat. Put the emails out. Make the phone calls. Make the donuts. You know, whatever you're doing. You have to do it over and over until it gets to a self-sustaining energy where you can be hands-off in the nine of pentacles. Okay? Um, Lord God, what do you want to let the Aquarius know this week? You are the Empress. Wow. These fell into my hand. You are the star. Wow. You are the King of Pentacles. All right. I'm, I'm going to see. I want you to see all of them together. It just fell into my hands. I didn't even shuffle hard enough. Star. Empress. King of Coins. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory, right? So the Empress here... 
it says create create you're in a place of abundance expansion you're birthing something into the 3d into reality here keep at it keep going with the star card it says that you're on the right path it says that whatever you're doing this is what you should be doing you're right where you need to be you could be using technology friend groups or circles or networking because the star card governs the 11th house which governs large groups of people also the star card talks about hopes wishes dreams birth your hopes wishes and dreams into fruition you're on the right path it's going to lead you to the king of pentacles where you can be hands off he's definitely hands off money works for the king of pentacles remember the kings have gotten to a place of stability they're hands off the queens are the doers of the tour the kings are just the overseer The King of Pentacles says that you could get you can get to a place where you supervise others or you have others under you. You'll be making decisions for a large amount of people. You'll be governing, you know, whatever it is you are doing. If your business this looks good for you, Aquarius, this is where you should be. This is what you should be putting your energy, effort, time into. The King of Pentacles is more hands-on labor industry okay so you're gonna you try to industrialize something you're trying to make it systematic or flow whatever it is you do wow the bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups Aquarius it says that you know my saying you know how it goes the stage is set for happiness you just have to perform on it okay because the ten of cups Again, it's a ten of emotions. It's um, it's whimsical. It's not realized. It is just a feeling of knowing that you can have. Also, in family matters, call a truce, okay? Because there is the opportunity for you to have a, a happiness here in your family life. And in whatever relationship, call a truce. If you some of you going to redefine and remake yourself in terms of how other people see you. Fortune after difficulty. The difficulty was the two of pentacles. You come into the week. The two of pentacles. You work your ass off and go to the eight of pentacles. And what the universe wants you to know is this is who you are this is who you're becoming Aquarius this is dynamic okay um, this is the universe helping you out this is also by your hand work gets rewarded spirit can't bless nothing so it looks like you are giving something spirit to bless. I don't see a lot of love. I know a lot of you come here for that, but we'll do a love reading. Aquarius just looks really good. Have a really good week. If you need to get in contact with me, if you need to ask a question or two, am I on the right path? Should I be putting my time and energy behind this thing or this person? Um, should I leave my job? What should I do? Where should I put my money? Will my investments grow? I don't know. You can text those questions to the number below. You can also get your own personal reading, full reading at the website level. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.